Hey guys, today I want to talk about flesh-eating bacteria. It's a fun subject to talk about, but it's something that you really have to be concerned about in the Philippines, to be honest with you. We've actually had two people in Tracy Martires now that have gotten flesh-eating bacteria, and it's prevalent all throughout the world, but in some places it's more prevalent, okay? And the problem is you really need to stay clean when you're here. When you're going through puddles, you get splash on your leg or something like that. Those are the places where you're going to pick up flesh-eating bacteria. Also, it could just be something, a, a, something as simple as a drop of water from the wrong place or whatever that touches you. You should always be washing your legs and have wipes with you. Always take care of your legs. And I'm finding this out on my own because I've had cellulitis. I have had dermatitis on my legs. You really, really need to take care of washing your legs more. Disinf if, you know, like... Um, alcohol wipes you might want to use those those on your legs or use antibacterial wipes on your legs to protect yourself to make sure that you're keeping your legs clean keep your legs clean during the day but here's the thing that a lot of people should be using is this is you use life boy soap and i've mentioned this before you can get it both in the bottle for like body wash or whatever but also you can get life boy soap in the bar you can get lemon you can get a, a red there's another one that's red i don't know what what scent it is but those soaps are phenomenal, phenomenal for helping you keep clean here. And make sure, guys, that you're not just taking care of like alcohol on your hands and stuff like that. Put it on your legs once in a while. You know, a lot of people say, well, geez, Steve, this is crazy. You know, th th that's all about COVID. This isn't about COVID. This is about bacteria. Okay? This is about wiping your legs to keep them clean. Clean your feet if you're wearing sandals, stuff like that. You know, so I mean, this is what you need to do. You need to make sure you're on top of yourself all the time. Make sure you're, you're always aware of your surroundings and what's, what's hitting you. If you're walking near some water and a car splashes a little bit on you, wipe it off with some antibacterial wipes. Make sure that you're, 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 you're keeping safe. I've had it happen where I've gotten infections on my legs from walking through puddles. Okay, and I had to go see the doctor and I started taking antibiotics right away. It's not something you like to do, but if you're not on top of it, this flesh-eating disease moves fast rapidly fast we had one guy in our group already he's out of the hospital now he's home uh he's growing back skin on his leg he's doing better now thank god he, he's healing um we had another guy also i just talked to him today actually he's not a guy that was in our group he's going to be a new guy in our group okay and he also had the same problem he was lucky he caught it really fast he said it was very very painful because it went in deep all the way to the bone and if you don't catch it fast, it can kill you. That's right, it can kill you. So I wanna make sure that everybody's aware of that because a lot of people, they think flesh-eating bacteria, I'll never get that, my, my immune system's really, really good. I'll fight that off, no problem, no issue. You won't, you need, back, you need something to fight off that bacteria, you need antibiotics to fight it. But remember, Life Boy soap has, what's, what, what's in it is silver. Silver kills bacteria, kills viruses and all that stuff. And it's in the actual soap. So when you use that, it'll kill off all the bacteria that's on your leg or whatever, or on your skin. I take a, I take a bath in that stuff, okay? Every night, every morning. And it has helped me. I noticed my skin problems have actually kind of tamped down, okay? Because I have problems anyway, because it's, it's an internal issue. But I notice that I get a little bit more infections, small infections and stuff like that, or, or in, on cuts or what have you. And it's usually because of the fact that you got that stuff in the water around here and your, your skin is always damp around here, things like that. Start using a lot of skin lotions, more like um, they have Vaseline skin lotions. Now, somebody says, some people would be out there saying, oh, well, Steve, Vaseline's all sticky and gooey and it feels gross. No, they have newer ones that go on dry, okay? And they feel better. They actually have a Vaseline um, uh, in a container over here, Vaseline lotion, and it will keep you cooler, okay? It keeps you cooler over here. And that actually helps. It's, it's four Celsius cooler. It makes you feel, okay? So when you're walking around, it's, it has something in it like uh, eucalyptus or something like that or mint or whatever, and it makes your skin have like a kind of a fresh feeling, and it makes you feel more refreshed and cooler walking around. So that's another thing that you can get. But make sure if you, if you wash with that soap, you wash and you let it sit on there for about two minutes probably. Let it soak into your skin because some of that, that, coat, that silver will get into your skin and it kills off that stuff. So you really need to take a really lather up with it and just let it sit there for two minutes and then rinse it off after. And some of it will stay into your skin. It gets caught into your skin and it'll help keep you 
bacteria and virus free for the for most of the day or a good part of the day but you also want to have those wipes because god forbid you're walking on the sidewalk and i saw a guy the other day i saw a, a car go by him splashed his leg he had long long pants on and i was saying to myself says man this whole side of his leg got wet with with water that was contaminated really bad it was it was a water coming down the street and i'm saying to myself so his legs gonna be damp all day with contaminated water unless he changes it and it looked like he was going off to work and i kind of felt bad for the guy because i was thinking you know this here is really serious you know and and some might say well geez steve come on it's, he's not going to get that fast yes it's that fast it happens really really fast and infections over here get worse than back home because back home the air is drier over here it's wet it's it's it's, it's almost like a petri dish for for bacteria and viruses over here so you want to be careful but anyway guys i want to touch on that today because now we've had we've had two people that i've actually met that have had flesh-eating bacteria disease over here and it, 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 it runs really rapid it's fast and if you don't take care of it fast when you see something on your skin that's not right go right to the doctor immediately don't even fool around with it even if it's just a little thing and it start looks like it's starting to spread it spreads fast. You want to go to a hospital or emergency room if it's the middle of the night. Don't fool around with it. Okay? And I can't stress that enough. God bless, guys. Take care.